Hello my dear friends, in this video we will going to learn about how the power will develop from the steam turbine. So we know that already that the steam turbine used in a power plant. In this case, a high pressure fluid will enter to the turbine and in the turbine there is a rotor and on the rotor there is a mounted on the on the rotor there is a blade is mounted and the rotor is connected to the shaft and when the high pressure fluid will strikes on the blade of the turbine so the rotor will rotate and along with the rotor shaft there is connected to the generator shaft coupled with the generator shaft so the generator shaft will rotate and finally we get the electricity so in this in this question there is first there is a multiple inlet or multiple exit so what is the mass balance m1 equal to m2 plus m3 right mass balance first mass balance what is mass balance mass balance what is the mass balance m1 is equal to m2 plus m3 obviously this is your mass flow rate no problem so what is m1 100 kg per second what is m2 20 so we can easily find m3 so what is the m3 80 kg per second this is your mass flow rate at third exit this exit right now what is given what is given p1 is given p1 is 15 kilopascal right 15 kilo pascal and not a 15 kilo pascal i think it is a 15 mega pascal why because this is your withdrawal 2 mega pascal withdrawal 2 mega pascal so the 2 mega pascal is the higher than the 15 kilo pascal so that the pressure will reduce so it is 15 mega pascal right this is not this is 15 mega pascal okay this is 15 mega pascal right and what is the temperature t1 temperature t1 is given 600 degree centigrade okay this is first inlet condition right and what is your second inlet condition the first inlet what is the second inlet condition second inlet condition is p2 is given what is p2 2 mega pascal and what is the t2 t2 is 350 degree centigrade this is also given condition number two what is the condition number three is given three p3 is given how much 75 kilo pascal and not t3 it is quality is given 0.95 okay this is p3 is given right so from this table generally this is a superheated why because this is your if this is your t and any value x diagram so this is your in this condition this is your boiler pressure and this is your condenser pressure so turbine is I this is generally superheated this is a turbine one two two this is your turbine so generally one is at superheated and two generally it is saturated but one other there is a quality is given so 
either this is superheated or if the expansion from here so it is also in this point that means one dash and two dash so it is in weight also saturated vapor but it is must be a superheated so from superheated table you find what is the h1 okay now from this what is h2 from table also from water table right and from this we find hf and hfg at how much pressure at 75 kilopascal kilopascal so from this value h3 is equal to hf plus x3 hfg at rate of 75 kilopascal you may find what is h3 so h1 h2 h3 will find out and what is the assumption is that the assumption there is no any heat transfer what is the assumption there is no heat transfer we can say that and there is no change in kinetic energy and there is no any change in potential energy work will not zero work is present so first law of td for a steady state a steady flow equation what is that heat transfer plus m1 h1 plus v1 square by 2 plus gz1 since it is the case of multiple inlet and multiple exit so use summation always so we use summation obviously there is one inlet but in practice we use always summation and there is a work transfer plus summation m2 h2 plus v2 square by 2 plus z z2 exit so what is that this will zero this will not present this also will not present so what is that m1 h1 is there is equal to w power develop out plus what is that m2 h2 a plus m3 h3 why because there is a summation right one two exit and three exit so for that here is m1 h1 we find so for that you can easily find out w dot out and what is out 91.5 Six five kilowatt. This will work output. See, there is one observation is made that the change in kinetic energy first is that change in potential energy and change in kinetic energy. This both in many engineering device, many engineering device will neglect it will neglect it and the second is th th uh, second is that as a result of low pressure why because turbine there is a inlet and there is exit so during the flowing of a fluid low pressure is here pressure is low and there is a pressure is high this pressure is boiler pressure so pressure is low thus what is that low pressure so if the pressure is low 
so a specific volume is high why because the if the pressure will low the gas will expand if the pressure will low so at exit fluid will expand so if the fluid will expand so density will reduce so if uh, we know that density is equal to 1 by specific volume so for that a specific volume will increase so at exit there is a high specific volume the stream velocity at the exit velocity at the turbine exit can be very high if the specific volume is high so stream exit velocity is very high why because we know that mass flow rate is equal to rho a into v that means a v by a specific volume this is fixed at one inlet and one exit so so if this is a fixed quantity so what is that a specific volume is equal to area into velocity this is fixed so what is that a specific volume direct to proportional to velocity at exit so if the exit velocity will exit a specific volume will increase so exit velocity will increase though high speed so exit velocity will increase so we cannot neglect we can not neglect though there is a high specific volume the high specific volume change in kinetic energy is a small fraction as the change in enthalpy but what is the change in kinetic energy but what is the change in kinetic kinetic energy this is much 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 less than the change in enthalpy at exit so we can neglect change in enthalpy so we can neglect it right so what turbine what is the turbine so pressure will reduce if the pressure will reduce if the pressure will low that means expand so a specific volume is high if a specific volume is high if a specific volume is high so velocity will increase at exit velocity will increase but this increment of the velocity will neglect as compared to change in enthalpy is high okay thank you thank you very much